I'm Josh, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to set up remote desktop for a MacBook laptop, either MacBook Pro or MacBook Air, to remotely connect to your desktop PC, like one I have over here. This video is mainly meant for students or other creatives who have a desktop PC that they'd like to access remotely. Maybe they work in a coffee shop or they're in a dorm and they can't bring their desktop PC with them. So I'll show you how to set that up for free today. I will show you as well how Minecraft runs on here, even though there is a little bug and you'll see that later on in the future, as well as editing some 4K footage in DaVinci Resolve and just seeing if there is latency or if you can do it even. And before the video even starts, if you could please leave a like on the video, it really helps a small channel like mine grow. And if you are into computer science and technology, consider subscribing as well. Okay, so first up when you're on the Mac, you just want to open up the App Store. And in there, you just want to look up Microsoft Remote Desktop. It's a free application. I have it installed right now. It looks like I need to update. But you just want to go ahead and download this. As you can see, 45k ratings. It's kind of the free version of doing this. Maybe it doesn't have all the features, but it is free. Let's go ahead and run and install. And then once you open it up, it should look something like this. Right now I just have my school computer because that's what I've been using lately, but we can add another one here real soon. Once you've installed remote desktop, you just want to hop onto your PC and you're going to have to do a couple things on here. You open up your PC, just open up your settings. So once settings is opened up, you want to go into system, scroll down on the left until you see remote desktop go ahead and enable that and confirm and after that's been turned on you might want to keep the option keep my pc awake for connections while it's plugged in all you have to do is just go in here and when plugged in instead of doing 30 minutes you can just set it to never so that maybe if you're not in the same room or the same place as this pc It'll just stay on during that time that you're using it. After that step, you're going to be seeing this how to connect to PC over here. You want to just take note of whatever name is shown up right over here. And that is what we'll be entering in on our Mac. After we've just noted that down, you also want to come in here and just go into search and just type in command for the command prompt. And from here, we just want to type in IP config just like that and what this is going to do is it's going to give us our ipv4 address for this pc i'm not too sure if i can show this or not but you'll be able to see it, it literally just says ipv4 address um it might be blurred out right now and just go ahead and make note of whatever that address is okay now that we're back on to our mac we have microsoft remote desktop open up we just want to click on the connections tab add PC and over here we're going to enter in that PC name that we've looked up earlier um, if you type in the PC name you know maybe it's desktop something or other and that isn't working you can also enter in your IPv4 IP address in here and that should work as well so I'll go ahead and enter this in and then use your account ask when required and then we can just keep everything else kind of the same thing go ahead and add and then once we come in over here we're just going to enter in the same user ID and login that we added, that we enter in on this PC. And then we go ahead and continue. And there we go. And then on our screen, the PC screen, we see something else happen over here. It just goes to the desktop. And then on this page on the Mac, we can either do window or windowed whatever we'd really like and we're able to see our desktop here not too sure what happened to wallpaper engine but you know we still have access to everything and let's say we wanted to open up a pc only application i mean even let's just open up minecraft launcher and while this is loading up there are a couple things about this uh for this exact thing we cannot drag and drop items from place to place um, but we do share the same if I were to copy this and then paste it in here you'll see it show up yeah, probably on the left over here the same PDF so it does say it does share the same clipboard um, what I've been doing is if I do need to transfer files 
I just open up a Google Drive and just kind of put it in there. Um, that is kind of a middleman step, but for the time being, it seems to be working okay just for this, you know, simple use case. We'll just open this up. Maybe there's something a little iffy about this. I'm not too sure why this is doing that. But if we were to just do FPS, we can see our FPS over here is, you know, 600. We're definitely playing off of the PC over here, the Ryzen 5 3600, as well as we've got the GTX 1660 showing up. Um, so the issue with this that you're seeing here, it's just spinning, so I don't really know exactly what's going on there. But if I were to do this, it seems fine. There's a little bit of latency, so maybe gaming isn't 100% the best use case. We can fly and stuff, but I'm not too sure about the mouse. That's something I'll have to work with. And if you guys know anything about that either, feel free to leave it in the comments. I'm sure that'll be a big help. But if we just quit game, if we want to open up something else of just a PC, you know, I'm able to look at my files here and stuff like that here on my videos. If I wanted to open up DaVinci and then I can edit off of my PC instead of using my Mac, which is kind of one of the main reasons that I was trying to do this for. I'm going to try it out right now, actually, just to see what kind of the latency is like. So let's just open up this video. It seems really responsive actually. I'll just go ahead and full screen this. And if we're scrubbing through, maybe the quality isn't 100% the best, but I mean, if I'm able to play and pause here, this is all 4K, 30 or 4k 24 footage over here so it seems perfectly fine running it through like this and the nice part about this too is everything is going to be done on the pc so it'll be rendering and can render through doing it this way I'm going to you know we can open up fusion this thing is always kind of a pain Let's just throw a little blur node. I'm not exactly sure how to do this right now, but I mean, everything is responsive as you can see it's showing up over here. So I think this is a pretty big success actually. We don't want to save this, so let's just go ahead and don't save and I mean we're able to run Windows using our Windows PC that we already have so to wrap things up for the video you can definitely edit on this with a great experience gaming is something I'll have to look into and again if you know any suggestions on how to fix kind of that mouse movement feel free to leave it down in the comments that being said thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later